It's not strictly something that is common knowledge. This is something that is pretty new to any engineers in the country. From the time we wake up until the time we go to sleep, we're basically thinking about rocket engines. My name is Mark Komenos. I'm Managing Director of Markham Aeronautics and Space. We're a local aerospace company. We're basically developing a uh, liquid rocket engine demonstrator, which will provide us with the technologies that uh, South Africa needs to go to space. We've got our workshop area here, and this system here is, is effectively our uh, piece de resistance, which is the MAS-10K liquid rocket engine. The MAS-10K basically stands for the Marcom Aeronautics and Space 10 kilonewton liquid rocket engine. It might be a smaller rocket engine, but it has all the complications of a much larger rocket engine. So when we get this right, uh, effectively we have the capability to go to space. We'll be doing a liquid oxygen cold flow test today, and that's going to give us again data on how the propellants flow through the system, what kind of pressure drops we have in the system, and what kind of performance we can expect out of the rocket engine. Sorry guys, let, let's just all sit in front of the, in the boardroom, let's have a security brief and discuss what we're going to do. The usual standing up operating procedure. Someone needs to put the gate on manual. The propane tanks, Ruloff and Johan, can you just sort those out? At Marcom, safety is a primary, of primary importance to us. Uh, we understand the energy potential of, of the chemicals which we're working with. A uh, combination of liquid oxygen and e ethanol can produce enormous amount of heat very quickly. So we take uh, all precautions necessary in order to avoid any injuries. We're not doing a hot fire test today, so the chances of a fire are very small, but there's still a chance of fire. If anyone gets injured and needs to go to hospital, then the nearest hospital is four ways life. The project itself is about taking South Africa to space and I think that encourages uh, all the guys who work with us at, at Marcom, including the girls. It's a place where uh, people have a passion for rocket science and engineering and people who have a dream to see South Africa uh, launch its own commercial satellites into space. This is the actual primary injector. This is the device that will actually transfer the fuel, the oxygen and also the spark into the engine to actually ignite it. So this is really probably the most critical part of the engine. This is our control system. Let me power it up. Solo for all the electrics and then the um, borehole water. So it's completely off-grid. There's a lot of work that goes in on this, so you'll spend months working. And when the system starts to come alive and the various systems start to talk to one another, that's fun, being able to control things, monitor things, and especially very tight timing. For each test, we want to maximize the quality of the data, so we need to make sure that uh, everything is calibrated and that all the data is usable. I'm showing you basically what the engine will ultimately look like. So what you're seeing on the test stand is only this portion. There's obviously a lot more systems that will be mounted, which we don't need for this test. Each individual piece is specifically designed for this engine. Um, we do try, where possible, on one or two of the valves and things to use off the shelf where we can, but on, in the nature of a rocket engine, almost everything is custom built. We manufactured 98% uh, of this engine uh, in South Africa with South African manufacturers. At Marcom, we believe that it's extremely important for South Africa to push for space. It also inspires the youth to pursue careers in maths and science. Youngsters need to be able to give them something to reach for. And if they do that, then they will find that many doors will open, even if it's not in rocket science. I used to be a pilot, but when I was a pilot, I would get bored in the aircraft. I, there was more. I wanted to know the workings of the aircraft. Most of us thought when we, when we graduated, we'd have to actually immigrate to pursue a career in aerospace and I mean now to realize that our future is actually we can have a future in aerospace in South Africa is very exciting. It's a great honor to work here and with Mark he is also a great lecturer he can explain very well. He, his mission is to teach us rocket science. I've learned stuff that I would never have learned in university. Alex, you're going to do oxygen. Murray, you're doing pressures. Once we've got sanity checks on the transducers we're going to do the test. If there is a problem uh, please tell us, abort, abort, abort. Okay, let's do it. To get to space is probably going to take us another five years, depending on funding levels, of course. 
uh, but we have all the manufacturing capability and expertise in South Africa. So South Africa getting in on the commercial uh, space frontier is of utmost importance now, prior to the development of the future commercial launch vehicle services. Input file name MAS10K, test 187. It's really a big psychological thing sending a rocket into space. I mean, flying and stuff is great, but sending it into space is a really big thing for a country to do. Because people think, here yeah, we don't have the facilities required or the drive mm. or any of that, but we really do. Stand by for test in three, two, one, go. If we could have a dollar for every no that we've encountered along this project, which has now been running for about 10 years, uh, we would be multi-millionaires. A lot of people said this project couldn't be done, and here we're testing rocket engines uh, using solar power in South Africa.